A 12 year old girl missing for more than a week found alive in South Carolina. A relief for that family who's been looking for Betty Taylor since she disappeared in Safford. The FBI confirming she was found clear across the country. That's where they arrested Timothy Schulthes in connection with her kidnapping. We're hearing from her family and our Luz Delia Caballero looking into how this guy made it to Arizona despite being out on bond after an arrest in a separate kidnapping. Luz Delia. Well, Betty's mom confirming to us her little girl will be on a flight home with her dad soon. It's a reunion she's prayed for for more than a week. I knew it was just a matter of time. Bonnie Jones had a feeling her daughter Betty Taylor would be home soon and was overjoyed when she got the call. They were like, hey, we've got some good news for you. Um, we'll meet you down here in the lobby. We found Betty. And I'm like, yes, I knew it. What she didn't know. It did blow our minds that she was found on the East Coast. Nobody saw that coming. She says officials told her they found Betty with 23-year-old Timothy Schultes in an apartment in South Carolina. Schultes arrested for kidnapping and custodial interference. I don't know if, uh, if he tracked her or if she trusted him or what, um, but I was told she's, uh, she's safe and she's... Um, not hurt. Adding the two met online. ABC 15 looking into his criminal record, finding he has a lengthy history of arrests involving sexual misconduct with minors and was out on bond with an ankle monitor after an arrest in 2020, where he was accused of kidnapping two sisters, 10 and 12 years old. Officials say Schulte sexually assaulted the oldest sibling in that case. The FBI has since arranged flights for Betty's dad to fly out and come back to Arizona with her Thursday. His is a round trip and they're gonna get Betty one to correspond with his um, to get her down here. Betty disappeared March 20th in Safford after going out for a walk. Jones's message for parents. You cannot be careful enough. You can't be safe enough. If, if you're in your kid's business and it gets on their nerves, good, you're doing it right. The family just happy she's finally coming home. I get to be here when she gets home and I'm gonna meet her there and I'm gonna squeeze the heck out of that little girl. <laughs> And we reached out to authorities in South Carolina asking how it was that Schultes was even able to get to Arizona in the first place since he was out on bond and wearing an ankle monitor. In the meantime, Betty's mom and dad telling us there's a lot of healing to be done, but they're thankful they'll be back together soon.